first thing I'd like to do is set up my reference geometrical sets. Insert geometrical set, and I like to call this form. Inside form, I'm going to create several additional geometrical sets to organize my data in a logical fashion. Insert geometrical set, going into form. This is asking me, do you want form to be a feature or a father? Do you want it to be a feature or a father? I want form to be the father, so I'm going to select no. Meaning, the geometrical set that I'm placing will automatically enter itself underneath form. The name of this is going to be Construction ge Geometry. I like to abbreviate it because I'm lazy. Insert, geometrical set, again I'm going into form, no. This is going to be a geometrical set for my theoreticals. I'm also going to create another geometrical set for my tangencies, another geometrical set for my slabs, for my blends, my splits, and my final surfaces. So this one is my theoreticals. to put my construction geometry for my theoreticals separate from the actual theoretical curves. Typically what I do have is a start model that has all of this built in automatically. So I don't have to do this every single time, but since this is the first time I'm showing you what I do, I think it's nice for me to explain the necessity for sorting your data out. One thing that I do like to do as well is under the theoretical curves, I have a color and a font that I like to use for these curves specifically. So the color for these curves, for theoreticals, I like to use something nice and bright dash font, make them nice and thick so I can see them. I'll do the same thing, geometrical set, under form, no, for my tangencies, insert, geometrical set, notice when I make this next geometrical set I'm going to do the same thing as I did with my theoretical curves I'm going to apply a certain color and font I like something that's going to pop so in this case I'm going to use magenta last time I used green so I can easily discern which is which I'll use a different font and same thickness. Insert, geometrical set. Call the slabs. So all my slab surfaces will go in here. I go into properties. Once again, I like to apply a specific color to all my slab surfaces. Insert, geometrical set. These are my splits. Properties. And do and for this call this final. Oops. Oop. Sorry. This is joins and then final. And 
the same thing for joins. Go into properties. Go into graphic. For this, assign a color. And same thing for final. Go into properties. And for this, let's use something nice and dark. That is the basic structure that I like to begin with when I am doing anything relative to fully parameterized Class A surfaces.